Hello my guys, welcome back to Mad for French Cars. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be trying to complement this nice lovely blue backlight shining speedo, which was absolute success. It looks absolutely great with a middle section of the our dashboard. So what we're gonna be doing is gonna be replacing a LED behind these buttons you cannot see now but I'm gonna throw in a comparison in the end of the video how it looks like with our orange ones and how it will look with our blue ones ignore this mess here basically what it is normally I have this little orange screen here I'm gonna be trying to keep some of this old unit not to lose my functions in the future and installing a nice android unit here or something either way that's not the point the point is i'm gonna still need to keep these here um and i want them to match up with my speedo so that's what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be changing the leds from orange to blue just to complement my speedo all right guys so you're gonna need a size 8 torx screwdriver gonna have to undo two screws torx screws through these little holes inside inside here and then you can literally pull the main unit tiny bit out and what you're gonna be able to see here now is you're gonna see what I'm seeing now you have your antennas connections on this side and your main connection here so antenna connections you have to literally press it here and pull it and they just come off it's like a little clip on the bottom so you just pull it and it'll come off i'll try to do with this hand there you go so that's your antenna connections now in here we have your main connector it's hard to show you but i will try my best you have to first take out the little connector from inside the big connector it's gonna be this one here so what you wanna do is you wanna push that middle and just pull it out like this okay and then what you're gonna be doing you're gonna be literally just pushing this clip up while pulling it out and it comes off like this so that's your unit now nice and out so we're going to be taking this home and going to be changing those leads behind the buttons to make the buttons shine blue now what you want to do is you want to take this dual climate control section these controls out so it just literally pulls out once you remove your unit then you have quite a few then you have quite a few connections in the back so you want to disconnect them just one by one um, so another one here you have to press it on the sides and just pull it there you go then you have one brown one here press it pull it it comes off like this another one it's like this you have to press the sides again and pull it and then it'll come off and the blue one last one same you have to press here and then push this little black thing here so then it just comes out it just pulls out nicely like this so now you have your dual climate control section is out as well we're gonna take everything home and we're gonna change those leds quickly right guys we are back in our house now as you can see i have my unit i have my dual climate controls and just what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a solder iron soldering tool you're gonna need a small t8 torx screwdriver you can get um, the whole set of these little Torx screwdrivers in Halfords it comes really useful with a French cars and we have um, SMD LEDs 5 to 8 blue 
3.5 millimeter on 2.8 millimeter uh, blue LEDs. So we're gonna just crack on and we're gonna take this little controls apart and resolve them LEDs. Right guys, so I'm gonna try to show you the easiest way how you do, how to resolder your LEDs. So what you wanna do is you don't wanna remove this fascia or the buttons, just leave them there. What you wanna do is turn the dual climate control section up, um, around and you're gonna see these four um, Torx screws. What you wanna do, it's just you want to undo them first remove them and another two okay so once you undone your four torx screws in here what you can do is you need to prime this side with two fingers while pushing it out a little bit as you can see this whole section is held by two clips in this side and now two clips just here in this side so i'm gonna i've, I've just pushed literally these two clips up like like this so that i would be able to pull this side out a little bit and then you can just pull it out like this and now you can see all most of the LEDs you're gonna need to replace nice and clear here so we're gonna put this aside because we still have our buttons here and on this side which we need which is gonna have a orange LEDs behind them and we need to replace them so what you want to do here is you want to take something thin and flat and just prime it onto these sides here Hope you can see it if you prime it a tiny bit here okay and a bit here this whole thing very nicely comes out like this okay your button stays in a place you can see that's your controls and that's where the LEDs are so we're gonna keep these and same with this one I'm not priming this side, I'm priming just this side from inside. And as you can see, what is happening here, once I prime it, it literally nicely pulls out. Sometimes it'll pull out like this. It's nothing to worry about, really, because this goes back nicely into a place it belongs. So here you go, that's, that's all back on. And if if if, the, if these little things comes off as well, don't worry about it. They go back in. We're gonna have to take them off anyway to resolder the LEDs. So you just pop them back in nicely like this, and everything will work. Don't worry about it too much. We are just taking things apart now, we're not putting them back together. So now this one is left like it is. We're not gonna be replacing this one because warning triangle it should be orange either way anyway so we're not gonna be replacing we're gonna remember that two leads on the side here two leads on the side here and two leads on the side here we don't need to worry about so because they already shine blue here and red here so we're gonna be concentrating on all of these all of these leads now Okay guys, so what I'm gonna be doing now, I'm gonna be just removing this little black kind of connection thing. As you can see, I'm just gonna put that aside somewhere. I don't really need it for a moment. What I'm seeing here now is I'm seeing my micro scam and we know which LEDs we need to say uh, change and which ones we don't. So as you can remember, the ones on the side here, I'm not going to touch them under those two buttons or under under other side, these two buttons. Also, the one which I'm not going to touch is going to be this, uh, as you know, but 
we don't have nothing I didn't take nothing off here so the, the light for that will be here and I just leave it like that so here we're not gonna need to undo this one and we're not gonna need to undo um, this this one here everything else I'm just gonna go and unsolder all of them over leads okay so when I'm looking here, what I realized, some of the LEDs facing one way, some of the LEDs facing the other way. So what I'm going to be doing, I think, I'm going to be doing them one by one from my usual, literally unsolder them all and solder the back ones back on. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be checking every single one of them, which way it was going. So I can see the triangle on this one, for example, is on a on the bottom left. And that's the way I'm gonna reinstall the blue LED LED on it. So I'm gonna prepare probably some LEDs now and just gonna have them ready and take them exactly same order and solder them back on straight away as I remove the old one. I straight away put a new one on and solder it back on. So what I'm doing here is just I got some I hope you can see I got some small LEDs here. So I wanna make sure my ones have same kind of like I explained for you before in our other video of speedometer little triangle little triangle usually uh, marks the place where it is negative of on LED so I'm just gonna put it here on the side actually same way the LED which I'm gonna be replacing it with and what I want to do here I'm gonna take this one off now I'm gonna be placing a new one there I'm going to be doing them one by one. So it's looking good. It doesn't look like I need to use extra much extra of uh, soldering iron. I might do just a little bit just in case just to be sure. I don't want to do it again, that's the thing. Perfect. So that looks good now. Well, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to go. All right, let's crack on. Okay, so all of the LEDs here, which I wanted to replace, is now have been replaced. I left the side ones because they are from, as I told you, for the hot and cold. And, you know, even if you change the color of the LED, it's not going to stand out anyway. It's... All right, guys, so the first, one you wanna, first thing you want to do is just remove these little things here. Just put them on the side. Now you are left with two sections of buttons and basically 
10 LEDs to replace. Okay, crack on. Last one of a button done. One last one. Six small LEDs just on this little button. That is absolutely crazy. Take these fives off. Okay, my guys, so I have soldered all the LEDs back onto the both buttons and the main board onto the dual climate controls. What you want to do now is just want to put these back onto the same places as you can see here. I'll try to show you. It's just a little rubber things. So what you want to do, you want to stick them back into the same places. Just like that. So this one leave it on the side. This one has two. There we go, finally. These ones back on. Now when you have your main board, as you remember, this little rubber here is gonna have to go on top. Just need to make sure I'm putting them on the right way. I think it's this way, actually. There we go, that's much more like it. So that's, that's back all in the places. You can see all the LEDs we needed to replace, we have replaced. Now we just need to stick it back into this one. All right, guys, so. Okay, so once all of these are back on, we have these buttons on, this, this is back on. What we can do now is we can stick these things carefully back in a place. So I would stick it like this. That's the blue one, goes in first, and it just clips inside, you check the buttons, buttons all works fine, right, and now we have the orange one, orange backing, it's only for two buttons there, again I'm holding this like that and then put it in a place, and just clip it, and that is back in a place, as you can see. Okay, now the main board has to go back in a place too. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be literally just trying to hold this little thing here on the sides, or either I can literally just put it here. Either way, it's a good way. So 
what I'm doing here. I can just place it like this. And then this is nicely in my position where it should be. And what I need to do now is just literally put the micro skin back on it. Here we go. Okay. So that is going to be nicely back in a place now as well. Yeah, everything is back in a place. My button is back in a place. All these buttons going to work nicely now. The way they should. Just press it up, make sure it will work. Middle section it moves. So all we need to do now is just literally put those four Torx screws back in into their places. Do them up. We're gonna take this into the car once it gets a little bit darker so I could show you how it shines up now in blue color. And they look pretty cool. So once all the four bolts are in, now we are all ready to go and install this into the car and see how it looks like. The thing is, Right guys, so what I wanted originally to do is I wanted to do this and I wanted to do the unit on the top. However, what I've realized is that this heater controls or dual climate controls, if you may, has used most of my LEDs I had. So from 25 LEDs I ordered, I only have about five left, probably four or five left maybe. So what I'm going to need to do, I'm going to need to order another batch of 25 LEDs and then we're going to do crack on with this unit, uh, blue controls on this unit. But for now, we're just going to finish the video by going into a car. Guys, so we have done all the LEDs under this um, dual climate control unit and I'm going to take one more of these which has not have any LEDs done to it. So basically we're gonna do a little comparison now because it's dark outside. Once I put in a car, see how it looks with these and see how it looks with originals and then, you know, hopefully it helps you to make up your mind if you wanna do something like that. Back in a car now, and I'm gonna show you first how the orange ones looks like. So that's the that's how the orange ones looks originally okay i hope you can see now i'm gonna install the ones i've changed into blue ones and see how they look like installed is very hard to, to see here because it's a really bad light but right i'm gonna turn the ignition key and turn my headlights on and as i hope you can see I'm gonna behind let's try to turn off this light okay so they seem to be shining white still even though you can see through the gaps that there's a blue LED behind it I'm not sure why it why is that well, anyway I can show you something here you know, the result actually turned out to be like this so I have some white slightly bluish shining buttons and a blue buttons so not exactly what I was expecting but there is a light 
behind them buttons it's just you can hardly see it's like a very 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 mild kind of very low blue but the bottom buttons it worked out quite bright so i'm not sure why is that but that's just how it worked out well i guess if you prefer this rather than orange ones then it's not a bad you know exchange but it's up to personal choice right